the overall outlook for this year's economic growth for the world as a whole uh, was considered to be about 2.8% uh, for, for 2015 based on uh, lower oil prices and uh, reasonable economic growth or recovery in the United States, maybe fueled by India's rapid economic growth. But that forecast uh, had a whole series of downside risks to them. Uh, in particular, the debt crisis uh, in, in the European Union, on the Eurozone, uh, a possible slowdown and maybe a sharp slowdown in growth in China, uh, and various other uh, uh, areas of economic uncertainty around the, around the world, particularly in emerging markets. Now, I think six months into the year, what we're finding is that not only were those downside risks materializing, but they're coming together at the same time, which I think is of some concern for the, for the uh, global forecast going forward. The, the upside is still there. I mean, oil prices are still low. The U.S. continues to, uh, to grow, maybe a little bit more slowly than it did before. But we're at the same time seeing a slowdown in China and a, and a serious problem uh, with the stock market in Shanghai over the last couple of days. The Greek debt crisis has come to a, um, a crescendo at, at the moment. Um, and some of the violence and uh, uh, terrorism has been spreading in the Middle East and North Africa region. So I think we're in for a period of some turbulent economic growth and possibly lower economic growth than previously forecast.